Hi guys, Paul here for Tech Freak TV. Hope you're doing well. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to render an MP4 1080p video using Movie Studio Platinum 12. So obviously you need to have the software installed. So I'm going to open the software here. Just takes a few moments to uh, build and obviously open the application. And then I'll start taking you through how you can uh, render full 1080p which will be ideal if you want to upload to YouTube. Okay, so it's almost opened itself up. Okay, so here we go. So this is what we start with. You'll see here, it opens up a small tab. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on new. And at the very, very top, it's got 50 Hertz for power. Obviously if you're using an NT, SC area then you'd select the top one but as I'm using PAL um, that's the one I'll select. You want to leave the audio on stereo and here you want to select AVCHD under the video settings and here you want to select 1920 by 1080 uh, 50i. Give the project a name so I'll just call this uh, YouTube 1080 test okay and down here you'll notice there's a, a click a tick box here and that says manage project files um, I'd always recommend clicking that box because then it organizes the files better so where it saves the files for you it's, it's done in a better way it's easier to locate so always definitely just click that little box at the bottom and then click OK all right up here at the very, very top on the right, it's got project video properties. If you click that one, and then obviously, so this is now a template that we're going to set up. So you want to make sure to start with at the very top, you've selected the HD 1080 50i. You've got 24, but you want to select 50i. Um, the width is obviously 1920 by 1080. Uh, the field order, you want to make sure that is none progressive scan. Okay, uh, the pixel aspect ratio, always leave that on a thousand. Uh, the frame rate, because I'm using PAL, I'll leave that on 25. Stereoscopic 3D, you want that off. Uh, blend fields for your deinterlace method, so leave that as blend fields. Full resolution rendering quality. Uh, you can leave that, you can put it on good or best. I probably tend to leave that on good and leave that checked. So if you click apply, I'll, as, as well, what you can do at the top, um, as you notice there, I, I've made one already, but you can actually just change the name before the 1920 by 1080 that's in the brackets and save that. So then it's always easy for you to go back to this particular file. So just click OK on that one. So now that's set, the next thing you're going to want to do is to bring in your video or your audio or your pictures. So I'll do that now. I'll bring something in and uh, then I'll show you how to start rendering. Okay, yeah, I'll use this. This is from one of my previous videos. Um, I'll take this one and I'll take some pictures as well. I'll do one more and I'll open that. Okay, so now that's dropped into your uh, media tray here. So then what you want to do is obviously bring those in. So I'll just bring in that, that's the video. I'll just move it along a bit. And then I'll bring in a couple of pictures. I've got that one already. I'll bring in this one. Okay, so there you go. There. Okay, so obviously what you do, you'd make this all nice and neat. You'll probably do an intro here. And um, obviously, if you've got any other audio, externally recorded audio or digital audio, then you can bring that in here. I will be doing another video that shows you how you can um, sync your audio um, and delete the audio. Because you do tend to find the audio from like your camcorders or your digital cameras, the audio is not that great. And also, feel free to watch. I have got a 720p video as well. Um, I'll leave a link for that in the description so you can watch how to render in 720p. So once you're happy with your project and it's done, the next thing I'd recommend that you do is if you go up here to project and then go to save as. 
And there, it's got the, the name. You decide where you want to save it, whether it's your desktop or another folder, wherever you're saving your videos to, uh, save it. So I would say save that to desktop. So now that's saved, and now you're actually ready to render. So if you go back at the top, click on project, you want to go render as. That takes a couple of moments just to open up. So now we're here, as you can see, I've got one saved here. But if you're starting from scratch, what you want to do is find the one that says Sony AVC MVC MP4, because that's what we're going to be working with is MPEG4. And then the one that you're going to want to select is the 1920 by 1080. So AVC HD. So here it is. You've got 60i or 50i, depending on what you were running at when you done your videos. So let's say I'll select the 50. If you click on customize template. So now we're here, what you can actually do is you can change the name of this template. So if you go before the AVC HD, put in a template name there, save it. So next time round, you won't have to go through this again. It will actually put that in here for you with along with the list. You can click the star to make it a favorite and then that way you can only just show your favorites only so it's easier to get back to but for now it's the first time i'll just run through this so you can see here um, obviously you leave include video tick the video format avchd the frame size we're running at high def 1920 by 1080 leave the profile like profile on high uh, the entropy coding and the frame rate i don't change that obviously if it was ntsc you change that to 29, but for this purpose, I'm going to leave it on PAL. You've got your, oh, I've just changed it, there we go. You've got your aspect ratio, leave that on um, on one. The bit rate, here you'll see that it's 16, now that is way, way, way too high. So obviously for your uploading and people that are going to download it, it's just going to take too long, it'll buffer. So what I've found is anywhere between three and five here is ideal. Um, you don't really want to go anywhere lower than three. I tend to select four. So what you want to do is take that, take that out and change it to a four. So I put four in there. If you go over to the audio tab, because you can see you've got video audio system project, click on the audio tab. And obviously you've got your sample rate, you've got your 48,000 there, so leave that as it is. The bit rate, which is on 192. If it is on 128 when you select it, I'd always recommend select it at 192. I just find that it's better if you select it on there. Once you've put that as a favorite, change the name and you saved it, click OK. So now here it is at the top. So obviously that would have a different name. My one here, I've saved it as internet 1920 by 1080. And then I've got one there for 720 then all you need to do is hit render. So now as you can see, you've got your render box comes in here. It gives you a percentage across the top, so that's from start to finish up to 100%. Under that, it gives you an approximate time left, so now that will start ticking up until it gets to the maximum time that it's going to take to fully render. Under that, you've got your elapsed time, so obviously that will go up and this time will come down. If you want, you can close the dialog box when the rendering is finished by clicking the box here. If you didn't and you wait, you'll have a choice of opening that file or open the folder location. Me personally, I'll always tend to open the folder location, cut that file and transfer it somewhere else where I keep all my videos or copy and paste it. And then that's it. So that's how you render a 1080p video using Movie Studio Platinum 12. If you've got any comments or suggestions, please leave them down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.